Algebra function machines. A number machine is shown below. Input, then whatever the input is, you take away 7. Then you multiply by 3, and that gives me the output. So if the input is 4, 4 goes in, you take away 7. 4 take away 7 is minus 3. And you do a minus 3 times 3. 3, 3 is a 9, and a negative times a positive equals a negative. So the answer to the first one is minus 9. If the output is 15, I'm working backwards now, so instead of multiplying by 3, I'm dividing by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5, and then instead of taking away 7, I'm adding 7. So 5 plus 7 is 12. You can always check. 12 take away 7 is 5, 5 times 3 is 15. If the input is n, n goes in, we take away 7, so it becomes n take away 7, and then we multiply it all by 3. So because we're going to multiply all by 3, we put a bracket around it. So because you put in the bracket around, you times it by 3, so you put 3 in front of it. So it's the last one. Right, this one, an input, you add 5, and then you multiply by 7. So if I'm putting my input in as minus 2, minus 2 add 5 is 3. And then 3 times 7 is 21. If the input is n, it becomes n add 5. And then what I'm going to do is put a bracket round it and I multiply it all by 7. So because I'm multiplying it all by 7, I put the 7 in front.